What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoots and today I'll be showing you the best way to monitor a directory outside of programming your own thing. Let's say you're installing a piece of software and you like to see exactly what happens to your C drive or you just want to launch up a program and see exactly what it does to the files inside of its own directory or say you're opening a program or a game and it's changing something in your documents or temporary folder etc etc. Basically you want to monitor for changes and see exactly what files were changed when? Well, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do, but there is a program that I've found that is actually pretty good at its job. So head across to the first link in the description down below, which is a link to download Directory Monitor 2. Then once you're on the page, simply hit the big orange download directory monitor button. You won't need to purchase the pro version because that comes with features we won't exactly need here. We'll hit download installer, unless of course you want to download it for portable use. Then we'll wait for the download to finish and it should open up if we click run. Then we'll go accept, next, we'll make sure it's installing to the right place, next. I leave all of these ticked, even though you won't need most of them, you could probably go with the compact installation and that would be good enough. Then we'll go next, next, create, next, install. Then we'll go ahead and hit finish and make sure that the launch is checked. And it'll start up like this. Then, now that we're here, all we're going to do is simply hit the add button up here and we'll go ahead and hit the three dots next to directory to pick a place we want to monitor. So, for example, I'll go to my desktop and I'll make a new folder called temp. Going inside of it and hitting select folder. Then, once we've done that, we're going to make sure that new files is checked, modifications, deletions, renames and file access are all checked and we'll make sure directories and files is also checked. Then we'll go ahead and hit save. We'll hit OK, just to ignore that. And then we have this over here. So let's go ahead and open up the temp folder. And let's simply add a file. So I'll add this wallpaper file into here. And you'll see accessed and new. So if we were to make a text file, you can see it's been created, accessed because it was renamed. So let's go inside of it. Let's type out a little bit and hit save. Then once we hit save, it says modified and accessed. And that's basically what it does. Of course, it's giving me a notification here, which I would like to get rid of. So let's go into file options. So to stop that, we'll go into here and we'll say show balloon notifications off and hit save. Now, if we were to edit the file, save it again, you won't see the pop up, but it will be added to the list over here. Hitting the plus and minus zooms in and out. And if we right click, we can go ahead and save this into a text file let's say inside of this temporary folder, open it up, and now we have it all nicely written out. So why exactly would you want a file monitor piece of software? Well, of course, you have your own reason because you found this video. However, it's really good for finding out what viruses are doing to certain files, etc, etc. But more preferably, um, instead of doing that, you'd hopefully have an antivirus for that kind of thing. But let's say you're firing up software, you want to see exactly what it's changing, etc, etc. Then this would be great for it. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mean Tech Number. I hope it's helped you in some way or another. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.